Hello YouTube and welcome to your sixth tutorials on Microsoft Basic. Now in these tutorials, we are going to go over relational operators. In our previous tutorials, we talked about uh, mass operators, which we are dealing with the operators and the operands. Which equally, we are, uh, when, we are, when we are talking about mass operators, we are talking about plus, multiplication, subtraction, division, and modulus. Now in these tutorials. Our aim is to talk about what relational operators. Now, what relational operators are? They are used to do what compare two values. The result of this comparison usually determines an action to take. For example, if you compare if you compare uh, two and three using the equal to uh, symbol or the, the equal to operator, we say two is equal to three. The uh, answer there is false because 2 is never equals to 3. So for example, we have these symbols here. As you can see, if you make x, or if your variable x is equals to 2, or let me say 3, then your y is equals to 5. Let's assume that the x here, here now, is equals to 3. And then the y here, is equals to what? 5. Now if you want to get the result for this uh, comparison, this place will be what? False. This place will be false. Because 2 or 3 is not equals to what? 5. So the result will be what? False. But this place, the result will be what? True. Sorry? The result will be true. Because 3 is not equals to what? 5. So this sign here is used to compare values by saying not equals to. For example, if you say 5 is not equals to 3, or 3 is not equals to 5, you use this symbol here. That is uh, your greater than and your less than. Then if you move over to this one, uh, this one is greater than sign. If you look at this uh, evaluation here, if you look at it, or at this expression here, you see 3 is greater than five which is y and the answer will be what false because three is not greater than five then this other one here less than if you look at it here the result will be what true the reason is because three is less than five then this other one here less than or equals to less than or equals to now if you look at this uh, our values here three is less than five so the result the result will be what true less than or equals to for example if you have uh let me say x is equals to five for example if x now is now equals to five this expression will also be true because x is equals to five it will forsake it will forget about the less than and take the equal to then the same thing is applicable here. Greater than or equals to uh, greater than or equals to. In this expression, we are taking the first one, x3 and y5. This expression here will be what? False. The reason is because 3 is not greater than 5. Or is not equals to 5. But if you look at this expression here, it will be true. Because x is what equals to 5. So with this explanation, I hope you understand what relational operators are. They are just used to compare two values, just as this uh, explanation here has stated it. So with this explanation, we are going to the code section. I can be able to show you more about uh, relational operators. So what I'm going to do is to declare two variables. I'm going to say x, I've told you about uh, variables so you know what that means, is equals to, let me say 3, and what y is equals to maybe 5, just as what we are illustrating there. So we are going to say, uh, so in order for me to compare these two uh, variables together, I'm going to use what is called if statement. Now if you don't understand what if statement is, uh, you shouldn't bother or you shouldn't panic because I'm going to 
create a full tutorial for what if statement is so let's get started now before I do that uh, okay I forgot my line number so let me, I think I should add it it's not necessary but I just like adding no line numbers because it's important for debugging so line 20 will be I'll use if x sorry if x which is that variable is equals to y then I so say if you don't understand uh, no problem because I'm going to treat it as a full course else print false so basically what this program is going to do is if x is equals to y that means if 3 is equals to 5 then it's going to print true if x is not equals to 5 then it's going to print what false so that is what the use of if statement to test conditions which I'm going to treat uh, in a later tutorial so just keep watching so let's run this program and see the output of it so click on run then alright so as you can see it printed out false the reason is because if you compare these two string by yourself if you say 3 and 5 they are not equal so that is the reason why it printed out false but if you do let, let's test the other condition uh, not equal not equals to which is this sign no spaces in between please no spaces in between if you do this and run it it's going to print out true because the condition is what true now look at this let's read it if x or if 3 is not equals to 5 print true so that is the reason why you see what true here because 3 is not equals to 5 alright then the next condition we want to test is the less than the less than condition or the less than operator now if you click on start use your less than there and you click on start you see it printed out true the reason is because 3 is less than 5 so that's why you are seeing true here then the next condition is what uh, greater than let's run it and let's see it also so so you see what false because 5 is not greater than sorry 3 is not greater than 5 that is the reason why you are seeing false so the next condition is uh, greater than or equals to so just add your equals to here and remember there is no space between the greater than and the equals to so don't add space there then if you run your program mm, you should be seeing you should be seeing false as you see here so the reason is because 3 is never greater than what 5 and also is not equals to 5 that is the reason why you are saying what false then the last one here the last relational operator is the less than or equals to now if you run this one your answer should be true because 3 is less than what 5 but is not equals to 5 so you to just take one condition if one condition is true you to take it and leave the other one as you can see here your expression is evaluating to true because 3 is less than 5 so in this tutorials we've learned all about what relational operators which are basically your what equals to your less than sign your greater than sign and your greater or equals to sign please don't forget we are going to uh, go over conditional statement in this tutorials so don't bother yourself about this if statement if you don't understand it for now what I want you to do is just to understand the logic between the uh, relational operators because they are very very important in what programming so in the next tutorials we'll be talking about uh, logical operators so in that place I'll be able to tell you more about logic not uh, and uh, and so many others because they are very very what 
important in programming so and don't forget to subscribe i would like to say bye for now